Hi everyone, I'm Kelly and in today's video we're going to be talking about 10 things that you can do in Seattle and Washington when it is raining. So I know when most people think of Seattle, they think of rain, they think of gray gloomy skies, which is true. It does rain frequently, but thankfully the amount of rain is not that much. So for those of you who are visiting, those of you who live here, if you do see rain in the forecast, I hope that that doesn't discourage you and think that you're limited to what you can be doing today because there are still some fun things that you can do even when it's raining outside. So the first thing on the list is you can visit a museum. There are several different museums in Seattle, but I'll name just a few. So we have the Seattle Art Museum in downtown. It's super close to Pike Place, so if you're going there, it's a good place to kind of combine with that stop. They have a lot of different exhibits, but one of my favorite spots was the porcelain room. It was just a room filled with like various porcelain pieces, and they were kind of categorized by different themes, so like various colors, but just walking in there, I was so happy. The next museum is the Museum of Pop Culture. This is located in the Seattle Center, which is right by the Space Needle. This is a fun museum with a lot of activities that you can do, so it's very family friendly. One of my favorite parts of that museum when I visited was the music exhibit, music room. There were basically a bunch of different stations where you could learn how to play different instruments. At the end, there are like these separate kind of like band rooms with multiple instruments in there so you and a few family or friends could go in there and try to play that same song that you've all been learning. Wait. Yes. Yeah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Then there's also, of course, the Chihuly Glass Museum featuring all of Dale Chihuly's art. So I think it's really cool because I've never been to a museum that's just dedicated to glass. And I feel like this just made me appreciate the art of glass blowing. The next thing you can do is visit a barcade or I guess just bars with various games and stuff. So one recommendation that I have is Flatstick Pub. The one in Pioneer Square, I don't know if all locations have this, but the one in Pioneer Square has mini golf and that can be pretty fun to do with your friends. We did that for Anthony's birthday this past summer. <laughs> Plastic Pub also has a lot of board games that you can play with friends. There are some, I think, like arcade games and stuff too. And it's also located super close to Lumen Field and T-Mobile Park. So if you wanted to watch uh, one of the Seattle sports team's games, that is a pretty good place to watch the game. Another place that you could check out is Garage. They have a lot of bowling lanes, there are ping pong tables, several pool tables, also some arcade games there. So the third thing that you can do is going to an event or a concert in the city. So there are a couple of venues that you could check out, the Climate Pledge Arena, see if there's a game going on there, like a Kraken game, a WNBA game. They also have concerts there, at the Climate Pledge Arena. And then there are some other venues in downtown too if you wanted to see concerts or a show like the Paramount Theater, Moore Theater, Numos, and what's another one? Showbox. Also, Wamu Theater. So the next few items on the list are all related to food. So the first one is you can grab a warm drink. So when it rains, usually it is a bit chillier, so I feel like a warm drink is always perfect. There is one coffee shop in Capitol Hill called Ghost Note Coffee that sells this really good drink that I feel like just feels like fall and the holidays. It's so good. You have to get the Naima from Ghost Note. If you're looking for a warm alcoholic drink, Rachel's Ginger Beers serves hot toddy, so you can try grabbing one of those from there. You can also go to Ray Amargo in Capitol Hill and grab some Mexican hot chocolate. The next item on the list is to eat soup. Rain and like gloomy weather is perfect soup eating weather because it just like warms your soul. So there are a few places that you can check out to grab ramen, Korean tofu soup, hot pot, um, or you can even grab clam chowder. So after you grab a warm drink, warm food, you want to top it all off with a warm dessert. And hotcakes is actually perfect to eat when it's rainy and cold outside because it's a chocolate lava cake. So it's this little chocolate cake with a warm 
warm lava center with some ice cream on the side. Another place that you can grab dessert is Pie Bar. They have a walk-up window where you can order a slice of pie. There's another place up in Finney Ridge that I haven't been to, but my cousin recommended it. A la mode pies. If anybody has any dessert recommendations that are perfect to eat on a cold day, please let me know. I would love to know. <laughs> This next item is a little bit easier for people to do if you live here. So this one is candle making. This is something that I did with my friends last year and it was actually very surprisingly easy to do. All you need is some wax and then like a little container or pot to melt that wax and then the wicks and kind of like additional tools to like hold the wick up and also stick the wick in the bottom of your candle container um, and then essential oils if you want your candles to be scented. I have a bunch of glass jars that I've just collected over the years from just from various kitchen ingredients. I brought a couple of those over to my friend's house. She had all of the candle making stuff. And now that it's getting colder and rainy, I definitely will be using those more. And then if you don't live here or don't wanna make candles, you can shop for candles. Good and Well Supply is one of my favorite local brands. I love their candles. I have mentioned their National Park series, I think in a, in a couple of videos before. I know they have a shop in Ballard, which I have yet to visit. If anybody also has any other local Seattle candle company recommendations, please let me know in the comments below too. Then of course the last three are outdoorsy related. The eighth thing that you can do when it's raining in Seattle or Washington is go on a hike. Yes, going on a hike in the rain is actually not that bad, especially if you do come prepared with the right gear to go hiking in the rain. One of my friends, Michelle, she actually has a blog called The Wandering Queen where she posts a lot about hikes and stuff in Washington. Something that she recommends is going to waterfall hikes when it is rainy or foggy or cloudy. It's really nice because most of the time the waterfalls you go to are, you go pretty close to them. So it's not like the cloudiness will ruin the view. And also if it's been raining and stuff recently, then the water flow will be pretty big. The next thing you can do, I've grouped them all together, clamming, oystering, and razor clamming. So this all depends on what the low tide is and like what time of day that you can go. I have videos where I do all three of those activities, so you can definitely check those out if you wanted to learn a bit more, but basically you'll wanna go when the tide is at like a certain level, and that isn't always during the day. And then the last thing that you can do, which is something that I'm new to, is mushroom for foraging. So I went for the first time last weekend and didn't end up finding the ones that we wanted to take home, but we were able to see a few mushrooms and go on a nice walk and stuff. I don't have very many tips for mushroom foraging. I'm still learning about that, but that's something that you could look into. So I hope that this video also helped you appreciate the rain a little bit more. I know for me, when I'm in the city and it's raining, it just means it's cozy season, time to get inside, light some candles, eat something warm, spend some time with a close group of friends. And then when it's raining outdoors, I love seeing like the vibe that the rain and the fog and the mist adds to the scenery and also like the activities that the rain allows you to do. So I've learned to appreciate that. So I hope that this video helped you appreciate it too. If you have any other suggestions, please, please let me know in the comments below. I would love to read them. I'm sure everyone else watching this video would love to read them too and get some more ideas. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would appreciate it if you did. Check out the other videos on my channel if you liked this one too and consider subscribing. I make a lot of videos about what I do in Seattle and Washington and just like all the fun activities that we do around here. I hope you all have a good rest of your day. I hope you stay warm and stay dry and I will see you in my next video. Bye.